guys, Dr. David Jockers here, doctor of natural medicine, and today we're talking about how to test your zinc levels at home. We know zinc is a vital nutrient that unfortunately 25% of our population, this is all over the world, are deficient, and that's roughly 2 billion people are actually deficient in zinc, and zinc plays a critical role in the immune system. It helps balance the Th1 and Th2 arms of the immune system, quieting down inflammation in our body. Also, it's very important for key hormones like progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone. So men that have low testosterone, women that have estrogen dominance or different hormonal issues, oftentimes they have a zinc deficiency. It's also really important for helping protect against cancer growth in our body. There's a gene called the P53 gene, which is our tumor suppressing gene. And guess what that gene's made out of? One of the key components is zinc. There's zinc proteins in there. And so if we don't have enough zinc, we're gonna get a mutated P53 gene, which can cause abnormal cells to start to grow. And over time, that can lead to tumor formation. On top of that, zinc plays a very important role in senses, your ability to smell effectively. It plays an important role with your skin. So for example, eczema and acne oftentimes are signs of zinc deficiency and your sense of taste. And that is really what we're gonna be focusing on with how to test your zinc levels at home and we're gonna look at your taste. So some of the major reasons why people are zinc deficient, why this 25% of our population is, is number one, poor diet. So a lot of people are eating a lot of simple carbohydrates and when we have blood sugar imbalances, that actually steals and robs our zinc stores. We actually need a lot more zinc to handle the, 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 the cascade that happens when we have blood sugar imbalances. So if you are eating a high carbohydrate diet, most likely you're zinc deficient. If you have leaky gut, so if you have problems with your digestive tract or maybe an autoimmune disease, those are all signs of having a leaky gut. If you have leaky gut, you're not gonna be able to absorb zinc as effectively. On top of that, you know, in general, you just may be, you may be a vegan and vegans typically are not getting good zinc stores because the, the best forms of zinc are coming from meats. So if you're a vegan, definitely supplementing with zinc can be extremely helpful for your body. If you're under a lot of stress in general, the more stress we're under, the more metabolic activity that we need. Zinc plays a role in over 300 metabolic processes. And so we start to just deplete zinc when we are under stress. So if you're dealing with any one of those things, I would definitely recommend doing this zinc tally test. And so some major symptoms that you may have a zinc deficiency would be like um, some whitening on your fingers or you've lost the sense of smell. Maybe you're having brain fog and memory problems. You have hormone imbalances. Uh, perhaps you've got issues with low testosterone or poor libido. These are all signs of zinc deficiency as well as chronic inflammation, autoimmune conditions cancer growth like we talked about before, these are all possible signs of zinc deficiency. Now, there are definitely a lot of lab tests that we look at to actually analyze zinc. We're actually able to look at red blood cells, we're able to look at white blood cells and look at the zinc status. We're also able to look at a marker called alkaline phosphatase that's really done on a typical liver enzyme panel. And that is a zinc dependent marker. And if that's low, particularly under 40, then that's a sign of zinc deficiency and really optimal range is 60 to 90 on the alkaline phosphatase. But if you're there and you're like, hey, I don't have a lab test, or I, you know, I don't, I, I'm not planning on getting labs anytime soon, how do I know if I've got a zinc deficiency? That's where the zinc tally test comes in. Basically what you do is you purchase this very low cost bottle of zinc sulfate and it's really a diluted form of zinc, very, very low form. This is basically two milligrams uh, per two teaspoons, right? So very, very low because the RDA is roughly somewhere between 10 to 12 milligrams. For most functional practitioners like myself, I recommend higher doses between 20 and 40 milligrams on a daily basis. And we have articles uh, that you can find on, on our website that talk about some of the best foods, like things like um, pumpkin seeds, which are a really good food source, things like liver, grass-fed beef liver, chicken liver. Um, in general, meat typically is a, a good source of zinc, things like oysters. These are all better sources of zinc, and you can find that right on drjockers.com. But we're looking at our zinc tally test. So basically, zinc plays this very important role in our ability to taste, okay? And so when we do this, 
Normally, zinc sulfate, okay, if we have optimal levels of zinc, zinc sulfate will taste metallic, right? Because zinc is a metal. And so if I were to put in basically about a, whoop, about a capsule full, don't overflow, but this is inexpensive and it's very non-invasive, very easy, um, and you know, there's, there's no toxicity to it. And so if I were to take this and drink it, there are four different things I'll notice, okay? If I immediately notice that I have a bad sensation, like it's, oh my gosh, it's very displeasing right away, like if you see me grimace, it's a sign of optimal zinc levels. If you see that if I don't grimace, but I notice a metallic taste, okay, as I keep it in my mouth for 10 seconds, that's a sign of adequate levels of zinc. If I don't notice the taste while it's in my mouth, However, about 10 to 15 seconds afterwards, I notice a metallic taste. That's a sign of slight deficiency of zinc, so I definitely could use some more, more zinc support then. Or I would just not taste it at all, it would taste like water. And if that was the case, that's a sign of a complete zinc deficiency and I definitely need to make sure that I am supplementing with zinc on a regular basis. So let's see what I notice. Okay, and so I do notice a metallic taste. Now, it didn't like shock me, okay, which is typically the case when we have optimal levels of zinc. However, I definitely can taste that slight metallic taste, which is a sign that I have adequate levels of zinc. And I actually supplement with 35 milligrams of a good high quality zinc. Zinc glycinate is actually my, my favorite form. Zinc combined with a glycine amino acid. Glycine is actually very good for the body, very good for liver function, liver detoxification, as well as for producing GABA, which helps reduce anxiety and helps with mental focus and relaxation. So I love, um, when I take in minerals, I, I really like the glycinate form of minerals because of that, that ability to get more glycine in the system. So zinc glycinate or bis glycinate where you've got two glycine molecules, that's what I'll typically supplement with. And you know, if you are noticing that, you know, if you do this test at home and you notice that you don't notice the flavor or uh, again, it doesn't shock you with a, you know, really disturbing metallic taste, then I would recommend supplementing with 20 to 40 milligrams of zinc glycinate or bis glycinate um, daily. And ideally it's best to actually take that with food. You're gonna digest it more effectively. Anyways, that is the zinc tally test. An easy way to tell if you're zinc deficient that you could do right at home. Again, this costs pennies and you'll find a link right under this video. So go ahead, take that test. Let us know in the comments box below exactly what you experienced taking the zinc tally test. And we'll see you in a future video.